Mehmet Varush has been a publisher and distributor for about three decades. His firm has published nearly 800 books. But the bookstore where Mehmet used to host big names from the world of Turkish intellectuals, writers and journalists recently closed its doors for good. He says rising costs and high rent in Istanbul's historic Jalolu district drove him out. Ankara is the capital of the country, but Istanbul, the capital of culture, for more than a thousand years. Publishers should stay here in the historical peninsula. In every corner you can see a mosque or an old school or a fountain from our history. It makes us feel good. Many of Mehmet's colleagues have signed up to an initiative to relocate to the suburbs. A project that will bring together 750 companies on a 4 million square meter area outside the city is now on the table. It's headed by the Istanbul Chamber of Commerce. With the proposed facilities of museums, libraries, entertainment areas, we will create the same spirit this area used to have before. As the sector grew steadily, the publishing companies demanded this project. While the debates continue over where the publishers should be located, the problem many traditional bookstores like these face is that Turks have stopped reading books. The International Publishers Agency says that Turkey has the 11th largest publishing industry in the world, but as far as the reading habits go, Turks read just one book in every 10 years. In contrast, Japanese read 25 books a year and Swiss read 10. Nevertheless, many here say they want the publishers stay in the city district. We have everything at our fingertips here. Also, the atmosphere is unique. Many universities are close to here. Time is short. Who would go to a place far from the city centre when you need a book? It seems to be a big challenge for Turkish publishers like Mehmet to find a balance between their financial needs and their readers' wills. And it's not clear yet if the move to the suburbs will help their industry or bring about an end to hundreds of years of tradition. Sinem Kosolo, Al Jazeera, Istanbul.